and welcome back to the Taylor Louise Budgets channel for a teeny tiny grocery top up. Let's see what sales and how much I spent this week. Let's go. Okie dokie. So here is a time for me to admit that I spent zero dollars at the grocery store this week. So I went to Coles with my mother. It was the fourth week in a spend $150 and get 10,000 bonus points. So this week, if I, if I spent $150, it would mean that I got to redeem 5,000 bonus points, which equates to $25. Now I already had some flybys dollars on the card and that is what I actually shopped with today. I also did not really need to do a grocery shop because I have been to the shop for the last three weeks trying to do this same offer. So I actually went with my mother. I met her there. She doesn't do flyby, so it just worked out. And yes, I met her there and she just needed a few things as well. So altogether, we both spent 200, but she spent 100 and I spent 100. So she paid for her 100 and actually for my 100, I used Flybys dollars to pay for it. So last week, I actually, we had the same thing again. We needed to spend 150. So last week I only spent 125 and I didn't film a grocery haul for that, but I actually spent $75 on my Flybys dollars and I spent $50 in Rewards Jar App points. So it is definitely worth it to scan your receipts to gain your receipt jar points. I will leave my code on the screen right now if you wanna join it and get some bonus points to start with, but I find it so valuable. I cannot believe that I've just had grocery shopping done for two weeks for free. Not a single dollar out of my bank account or out of my wallet. And today, $100, this is what I got. I'm still mostly shopping the sales. So I got No Sugar Fanta. This was like $9 something and we're really quite enjoying it as a different option to Pepsi Max. And I'm on school holidays now, so I want the fridge stocked up in that regard. I did purchase my boyfriend, or my fiance rather, a crunchy bunny to put away for Easter Sunday. So that was $5. These little Easter chockies, they were pretty expensive actually. They were two for eight dollars which is pretty expensive considering the size of them but he likes crunchy chocolate so I got him one of those and I got myself a strawberry one because strawberry freddos are my weakness so I imagine these little easter eggs are also going to be a fave for me they didn't have my crispy m&ms that I usually get so I got a bag of Maltesers I'm on school holidays so I don't mind giving myself a snack and a party mix share bag for the other half now I did buy some kettle sea salt they're like mini packs and it's quite funny actually the reason why I got those is because my mother was purchasing the pretzel packs and it was like a two for seven and she wasn't gonna make take advantage of that sale. So I was like, fine, you pay $4.50 for some pretzels. I'll pay $2.50 for some sea salt crackers. So there's like five packs inside and I got it for $2.50. So they'll be handy. I did buy a pizza sauce because I'm definitely very running out on this and I have some pizza bases and still some pizza ingredients that I have not used in my fridge. We've been eating a lot of takeout, to be honest. I also bought the Spice Taylor Classic Butter Chicken. You might recall I got a Tikka Masala version of this as a freebie a couple of weeks back. I still haven't used it. It's sitting in my fridge um, and my chicken breast is in the freezer. So I thought what I might do is actually just use the tikka masala to make one and I'll just use one chicken breast and then I will use this butter chicken one for the other one because this was half price. So this was $3 for this butter chicken thing. So I thought I would try that and I got some garlic naan to go with that as well, which was like $3-ish. Some cherry tomatoes were on sale for, well, not by much, but you can see. Um, so I got some cherry tomatoes to go with the pizzas because I don't think, I think I'm actually running out of tomatoes. Hence also stocking up on this. I've only got a couple left. And because I'm now home, I dare say I'll be making breakfast from home a lot more and I'll be doing my cream cheese and tomato because I quite like that. Now I do have a butternut pumpkin, which I purchased. I got two capsicums. Both of these were on special. Don't know exactly what for, but anyway, and two zucchini. So I'm planning to do some roast veggies. I still have some potato in the fridge to roast up as well. So here's some roast vegetables and uh, Marlene, be proud of me. Look at this markdown, $5 off on some lamb strips with sublaki seasoning. I quite like this. It is a definitely a freezer meal because these only take a little while, like a couple of minutes to sizzle up on the stovetop. And I usually cook it with rice and frozen veg. So I will be chucking that in the freezer because it does expire tomorrow. And then I did pick up some sausages. So pork sausages and beef sausages. To be honest, I purchased these because Liz and Les wants me to touch sausages on camera to show what Aussie sausages are like. So to be honest, I was gonna buy some more decadent, some gourmet sausages. And I was like, oh, are they classic Aussie sausages? I'm not sure, but I'll be playing with these sausages. 
<laughs> on a video or on Instagram sometime soon for Liz's sake. So apologies in advance for that. And then last but not least, you can see we've got a mark down here. I have never seen these before. They're pork Kievs with katsu sauce on the inside. And my partner and I, as a guilty pleasure, quite like a chicken katsu curry from a local Japanese restaurant. Uh, so I thought I would get these for us to try or mo mainly for him to try. But yeah, I, I mean, they were marked down and it's a new item. So let's try it out, see how it is. And that was it. That's all I got. So there was $100, but guess what? That is absolutely free. And this is going to be multiple meals. This is multiple meals. This is multiple meals and multiple meals. So I am not going grocery shopping next week. Mark my words. I do not need to go to the grocery store. My fridge is full. Look at this absolute mess. But this is full, right? I do not need to go to the grocery store. My freezer. There is stuff galore in there as well. I do not need to go to the free... <laughs> I do not need to go to the grocery store next week. However, I hope you did enjoy seeing what I purchased from the grocery store this week for free. And I shall see you in my next video very, very soon. Make sure to go down below, click like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload. Bye, guys.